Hello, this is Stefan from the Mod3Detect team again. In this quick tutorial, we'll look at how to bridge PyMol into your VR environment. As of now, currently supported VR devices are all Steam VR compatible head mounted displays. Any OpenXR compatible head mounted displays. 3D projectors, 3D monitors, power walls, caves and dome systems, as well as a selection of auto stereoscopic displays. Assuming that you have successfully downloaded, installed and activated the Morvis VR Bridge software, please go ahead and launch the Morvis Launcher. Inside of the Morvis Launcher, expand the main window and start the application enabler. Click on Locate Known Apps. If it does not find your PyMol installation, click the Add button and navigate to your PyMol installation directory. Select the pymolwin.exe and click Open. Next, click the folder symbol for PyMol in the application enabler. Open the PyMol directory, open the subdirectory library and choose the bin folder. Then click OK. Lastly, place the enable check mark then exit the enabler. Now make your VR environment ready. For me today it is an HP Reverb Generation 2 that I'm using through Steam VR. Once your VR environment is ready, simply start the Morvis client and start PyMol. and load any model. And then it's already time to enter the VR space. I can now navigate freely, I can rotate, I can scale the model to make it larger so I can really walk inside of the molecular bounds. I can uh, set my movement speed, which I will now make a bit slower, and start go close to the geometry. And as you can see, I can now beautifully go through all those helixes. course, there is more features to the Morbis software. I can take screenshots or virtual photo camera screenshots that are saved to my user's directory. I can add freehand annotations. I can place markers on the geometry. And these markers now function as teleportation targets. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, we are always available for you on support at more3d.com. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.